this food and beverage management video, we will talk about menu and recipe planning. In the first part, we will introduce you to factors affecting menu planning. This includes menu design, menu types and menu planning. And in the second part, we will talk about factors affecting recipe planning and they are nutrition, speciality diets and cultural and religious diets. So, let's start with designing menus. And now we will talk about types of menus. Although there are many types of eating establishments offering many types of meal experiences, there are basically only three main types of food menus. Tab de hot, set menu and a la carte. From these types of menus, there are in practice many adaptations of each. Tab de hot menus are usually restricted. They offer a small number of courses, usually three or four. They have a limited choice within each course and a fixed selling price. All the dishes are ready at a set time. A set menu is a menu at a set price, offering usually no choice whatsoever to the customers, unless the client informs the caterer in advance that certain guests require special meals, for example, a vegetarian or kosher type meal. This type of menu is often used for large functions and banquets. A banquet menu is a fixed menu or set menu. The a la carte menu is identified in the following ways. It is usually larger than a tab de hot menu and offers a greater choice. It lists all the dishes that are prepared by the establishment. All dishes are prepared to order. Each dish is separately priced and is usually more expensive than the tab de hot menu. It often contains exotic and high cost seasonal foods. Let's move on to menu planning. When planning menus and its recipes, remember that this is a complex business with a great deal of factors to be considered, which means that this is not something that can be rushed or neglected if you want to succeed. Planning a menu for any particular reason, the first factor is to consider the type of establishment it is for. There will be considerable variation. For example, in menus for five-star hotels and restaurants, school meals and staff canteens. Staff and school canteens will need a vast array of menus as they are feeding the same customers every day, so need to vary the menus considerably. Hotels and restaurants do not change their menus very often once they've created them. The next consideration will be the type of customer we're expecting and what their expectations are. Is the menu for a celebration, senior citizens or sportsmen? They will all have different requirements and expectations. This is so important when planning a recipe as different customers may require different cooking techniques and recipes. When planning a menu, you should aim for it to be attractive, clean and easy to read. Favorite dishes just a little bit healthier while keeping them just as delicious. It's also about romancing the description. Research shows that when people eat out, they want to eat healthier, but they also want to treat themselves. The opportunity is to find the sweet spot between great taste and good health. This is what we call seductive nutrition. We first start with top dishes because that is where the biggest opportunity is to help people eat healthier without shouting nutritious. In this case, the regular cheeseburger with fries becomes a California pepper jack burger served on a slightly smaller whole grain bun with crispy sweet potato fries, saving nearly 200 calories. Finally, we look at ways to tell a story or provide delicious descriptions. To romance your menu, focus on and call out your ingredients. Tell a story about your dish, the ingredients or supplier, and describe the dish's preparation. Here are some additional words that are hot on menus. Open flame, fire roasted, pan roasted, grilled to perfection, urban fuse, fermented, zip code honey, farm branded ingredients, place of origin, local and seasonal. Descriptive words around preparation and where the products are sourced. Many more customers are being cautious of their dietary requirements and there is likely to be a small segment of the market which is particularly interested. 
for example in the calorie content of specific menu items or in vegetarian items. To add to the menu some items which are specifically available for this type of customer can only increase the volume of business providing its availability is sufficiently well marketed to the Let's move on to special diets. Let's move on to cultural and religious diets. Pork or pork products, shellfish or animal fats, and gelatin from beasts considered to be unclean or not slaughtered according to the prescribed manner. Muslims who eat dairy products and the third type is a pesco vegetarian otherwise known as a pescatarian who eat fish and sometimes chicken and dairy products as well. So now you relationship between health and eating. Special diets. Restaurant is a theater. Absolutely, it's a theater for all the sounds. It sets the mood. If the place is beautiful, it seduces you. The ambiance is set not just with comfortable furniture, every detail from the press, tablecloth and napkin, the candelabra, the flowers on the table, uh, and of course the silverware, where everything seems natural, like it belongs. But crucial is the lighting. Lighting is probably the most imperceptible detail that if the lighting is great, you don't know it. If the lighting is awful, you sure know it. To me, flowers represent life, quite simply. And they also make you aware, even in a city, that it's possible to cultivate a garden even in the most urban of settings. Great service for me is discretion. Great service, you don't even know you're being served. It's more about really listening and being attentive to every single need that the guest may have and to anticipate. A very good bartender, for instance, will immediately see a guest coming in and know exactly what that guest will order. Consistency is key. You really have to attend to all the details as if it was the first time with the same freshness. You have to approach the table, approach how you clean the room, how everything is cooked as if you were doing it, well, you're recreating the restaurant each day. That, that I think, is a basic consistency. A typical mistake in many restaurants that don't last a long time, to forget that the guest is really the most important ingredient in a successful restaurant. That guest walked in, may have had the most horrific day at the office, comes in and you are actually able to make them forget what a horrible day was and all's well that ends well with a great meal. Thank you.